The question is, Ben makes four batches of cookies for the bake sale. He uses five milliliters of vanilla for each batch. How many milliliters of vanilla does he use in all? For this problem, we have to draw a tape diagram, write a number sentence, and finally a statement. First, let us see what information has been given. So Ben is making batches of cookies. So there he's making four batches of cookies. So we know that the group is four. And then, and then he uses five milliliters of vanilla, five milliliters of vanilla for each batch. So if it says each, that means for one batch. Whatever information given for one batch will be the size of that group, right? Size of one group. The size of one group is five milliliters of vanilla. So what we have to find here is, we have to find how many milliliters how many that means we have to find the total quantity of milliliters of vanilla that he used in all so that we have to find total any question that requires you to find a total then you have to go for a multiplication number sentence the multiplication number sentence will be four times five equals what Okay, so what is the meaning of 4 times 5? 4 times 5 means 4 groups of 5. So let me draw 4 groups of 5. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. We know that 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. And 15 plus 5 is 20. So 4 times 5 makes 20. Let me draw a number, uh, a tape diagram. So tape diagram, since we know the number of group as four there should be four boxes in it so first box second box third box and fourth box so there are four groups in the tape diagram and we know the size of each group is um is five so let me draw five ml inside each group or each batch of cookie each group represent each batch of cookies okay so we know the total now to be 20 mil milliliters okay the statement uh, should be how many milliliters of vanilla does he use in all? The character goes first. So Ben uses 20 milliliters of vanilla in all. Period. The next question is, Mrs. Gillett pours three glasses of juice for her children. Each glass holds 321 milliliters of juice. How much juice does Mrs. Gillette pour in all? So again, for the word problem, we need a tape diagram, number sentence, and a statement. First, let's see what information has been given. Mrs. Gillette, she is pouring juice how many glasses of juice for her children she is giving three glasses of juice so we know that the group is three okay then each glass holds so we have each we have each here and glass holds 321 Milliliters. So each, that means the size of one group is each glass. That means one glass holds 300, 321 milliliters. So the size 
of one glass or one group is 321 milliliters of juice. How much juice does Mrs. Gillett pour in all? That means we have to find the total. So the total equals what? So if we have to find the total, then it's a multiplication number sentence. So the number sentence would be 3 times 321 equals what? What is the meaning of 3 times 321? 3 groups of 321. So 321, let's do it in a repeated addition. 321 plus 321 equals what? Okay. So for the for this problem, the tape diagram will be since we know since we know the number of group since we know the number of group as three, we have to draw three partitions here. So this is the first partition, second, third. Okay. So one group, two group, and three group. And the size also we know that, right? 321 milliliter, 321 milliliter, and 321 milliliter. What we have to find is the total, okay? Okay, so let's do it in a vertical way and find out the total. One plus one plus one is three. Two plus two plus two is six. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. So, so the total is 963 milliliter. How much juice does Mrs. Gillette pour in all? The statement will be Mrs. Gillette pours. 963 milliliter of juice in all period. Let's move on to the next question. Gabby uses a four liter bucket to give her pony water. How many buckets of water will Gabby need in order to give her pony 28 liters of water? Okay, so again, we need a tape diagram, number sentence and a statement for this question. Let us find out what information is given in the question. Okay, so she, Gabby, she's using how many liters of um a four liter bucket, a four liter bucket means she is using one, a four liter, bu liter bucket means one four liter bucket to give her pony water. So one bucket, the size of one bucket is four liters. How many buckets do of water will Gabby need? How many buckets of water that means we have to find how many buckets that means we have to find the number of groups in order to give her pony 28 liters of water 28 liters is the total amount total quantity of water that she has we have to find how many buckets are needed to put that those 28 liters of water okay so let's find out we know that since we have to find the groups then we have to go for a division number sentence 28 divided by 4 equals what and the tape diagram will be We know that size of one bucket is four or the size of one group is four. So let's keep count by four till we reach the total 28. So four, four plus four is eight. 
8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 plus 4 is 24. And 24 plus 4 is 28. So we know the total as 28 liters. So it's all liters. 4 liters, okay? Okay. So the let's find let's count the number of groups now. So this is the first group. Group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, group seven. Or you can say that Gabby needs seven buckets of water to fill those twenty-eight liters of water so for those 28 liters she needs seven buckets okay so the answer seven goes here and the statement will be gabby need gabby needs seven buckets of water period let's move on to the next question Elijah makes 12 liters of punch for his birthday party he pours the punch equally into four bowls how many liters of punch are in each bowl okay so again we need a tape diagram, a number sentence, and a statement. First, let us find out what information is being given. Elijah makes how many liters of punch? So, totally he makes 12 liters of punch. So, we know the total as 12 liters. He pours the punch equally into four bowls. Four bowls is the groups how many liters of punch are in each bowl that means we have to find each means we have to find the size size of one group or the size of one bowl since we have to find the size let's go for a division number sentence 12 divided by 4 equals what okay let me um draw the tape diagram so since we know the groups number of groups let me draw a tape diagram with four partitions one two three four partitions and we also know the total as 12 liters what we don't know is the size of each group so let me divide 12 divided by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So when I divide 12 divided by into 4 groups, each group or the, each um, ball has 3 in it. Okay? Three liters in it so three liters three liters three liters three liters so 12 divided by 4 equals 3 and let us restate the last question how many liters of punch are in each bowl Elijah pours Three liters of punch in each bowl. Period. Okay, so we have the tape diagram here and the number sentence 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 
and also the statement that says Elijah pours three liters of punch in each bowl.